If you're looking for a home in Atlanta, Cultivate Real Estate is the people you want to holler at. Adrian, Aaron, and the crew. There are sponsors here every week. Fantastic. And trust me, they'll take care of you. You got questions. You just want to you know, talk about things that you're trying to do as a first-time homeowner. If you just want consultation, Cultivate Real Estate are the people to holler at. Yeah, holler at them on Instagram at Cultivate Real Estate. And they will cultivate some good combos with you and try to help you navigate. I know you've seen that nice house around the corner, okay? If you're in the city of Atlanta, they're popping. Try to get you one. Reach out to them. They're happy to hear from you. Slide in those DMs. So I don't really love to cook as the primary cook in this family. However, what I do like is to jazz up the meals when I do cook, right? I'm looking for spices, seasons, dry rubs. And I found a good place. It is Artisan Dry Goods made by beautiful Briny C. So a little bit of everything to spice up, jazz up your meal. It is a local store right here in Atlanta, but ready to ship out to you all over the world. Absolutely. And they're legit. I'm going to be honest with you here. Forbes, The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, and Oprah's Magazine. And you oh. know, you know Oprah oh. only going to promote the good stuff. All right. <laughs> so check them out. Instagram. Beautiful, briny sea. Make your kitchen better. All right, I'm talking about real good ingredients, mm. urban gardens, local farms, mm. so it's good for your taste buds, good for your body. Check them out, and let's get to the episode. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Sum It Up with the Sumners. We are your hosts, Katoya and... Damon. Yeah, you like that? We are your hosts. It sounds really official. But we are, and we're so happy that you're rocking with us yet again for another week. And we have a fun topic today. It's a personal favorite of mine. We're talking about wedding. Mm. 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 I got a lot of thoughts, comments, and opinions on this one. <laughs> uh, but I'm trying to keep them contained. But uh, I do think it's something good to talk about, whether you're planning, whether you've been through it, and you're like, ooh, what are these young folks doing today? Or these newly married people, it's like the way I look at people with new babies. Okay, anyway, anyway, I'm giving you way too much. But uh, it's going to be a fun one, so get ready for it. But before you guys know, we always want to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, being a Patreon follower. Thank you for following us on Instagram. Thank you for listening on wherever you are listening to. Um, and thank you for watching on YouTube if you're rocking with us there. So thank y'all so much. And we want to uh, shout out someone who said... Uh, thank you to us and giving us a review. So then we're going to read that. Let's get into it here. So uh, if you haven't uh, reviewed, we'd love for you to take 90 seconds and do that. That is our goal for April to get to 100 reviews. Um, I'm not sure where we're at. We're not at 100 yet. So take a second. We appreciate that. This comes from Josh Holton. Better than 4th and 10 is the title here. That is a sports Ooh. podcast I do with a few great comics in the city. Shout out to David and Nate. Five stars. Let's get into it. Josh said... Katoya and Damon are hilarious, sweet, and passionate. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> I can easily tell how much they love uh, the Lord, each other, and their kids just a few episodes in. I'm just waiting for Dirty Damon to come out more and more no. throughout this show. Dirty oh, Damon. Inside, inside joke. I actually don't think it's better than 4th and 10 yet. It could definitely get there. But if Nate or David were scrolling through your reviews while they're on review strike, I thought it'd be funny if they saw this. Josh, appreciate you. Uh, listen, I don't know. Dirty Damon pop up. I like to keep him reserved over there on the other side of town. But it's okay. I appreciate the look here. What was that? What was that look for? I don't know. <laughs> I guess Dirty Damon can come. Uh... But no, please, please write a review. But yeah, we're excited to uh, just share all the reviews here. We would love to share your review as well. That's true. Also, a special shout out to the 4th and 10 followers. We have some Patreon 4th and 10 followers. We, we have do. some reviews, comments, we do. everybody. So thanks for showing the love to 4th and 10. Thanks for loving Damon. Thanks for loving us. We appreciate it. Facts. Yeah. Let's get nice. to it. A little cross pollination. A little cross pollination. I like it. <laughs> all right. Weddings. Mm. Weddings. Let's get into it now. We've been married. It'll be 13 years for us uh, coming up this year, which is very exciting. That here. is exciting. It is exciting. It's not a grand year or anything, but uh, I think any every marriage should celebrate uh, surviving 2020. Come on. How about that? <laughs> How about that? If you if you made it through in a relationship, through a pandemic, and still... You celebrate. I don't care if it's year number three, year number 14, no, you, know, no. you know, whatever that, uh, seven... 
You know, it don't matter. Those Everybody, weird numbers yeah, that don't feel that nobody high. really cares. You, everybody celebrates the anniversary in 2021. How about that? Because it was well-deserved. Mm. I don't even know your story, but mm -hmm. I know that it was well-deserved. How about that? And that even goes further relationships, all right? You deserve it, right? Everybody made it, so everyone celebrate now in 2021. That's my advice. There it is. Weddings. <laughs> Let's get it done. 13 it? years. Yeah. 13 years. So, yeah, we've been married for 13 years. Yes. We got, I mean, you guys could tell us the story at this point if you're, uh, what, 38 episodes <laughs> in with us. But got married young, got married in college, uh, proposed at 20. Well, I was 20. Damon was 21 um, when, when he proposed. And um, we were in the middle of college. Damon was an RA. And I thought I was really doing big things working as a leasing agent. Mm -hmm. Um... I just kind of that just kind of hit me hard because I'm still doing some of that work. I'm um, sorry, I was a leasing case. Woo! Deep breath. That's because a global pandemic happened. Bring it back. We're good. Okay, I'm ready. There I'm, it is. I'm ready to talk. Uh, I was a leasing agent. <clears throat> And I was, I was killing it or whatever, but you know I was making my little money. Uh, the college mom. money. I'm 20. But that's about all we had. And uh, that's about all we had. Yeah, but we had love, and so we said, <laughs> let's do this. Let's thing. go. And, um, you know, there was an engagement. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know, where do you want to go? Well, just our wedding. I think we're just talking about, give a little background, specifically our wedding first. Because our story, it, it, that's one of the beautiful things about, we love people's stories. So our story is not like your story. Our story specifically was that we were young and in school and poor. Those are the three things you need to know about our story. So our wedding Very could important. not. And, we're gonna, this wait, wait. Kind of and we loved each other. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Those are the four. Those are the four. And so our wedding could absolutely not be expensive. That was just an option. There was no option. There were no other but options. But it needed to still be a little special, right? A little special. So a little background about myself. I didn't I was not a person who like dreamed of a wedding one mm. day. I just I wanted to be in a relationship. I wanted to like be loved mm -hmm. by a man that would mm. love me. And just be happy and do things together. I mean, in my ideal world, I, need, I was like, yeah, maybe some kids one day. <laughs> yeah, there'll be a wedding. Forget all of that. I just yeah. want to be loved every day by yeah. someone. Like, that was kind of like my, mm -hmm. I, my idea. So I didn't have this, like, dream of a wedding or anything like that. I just was like, oh, yeah, we need to get married. I would love it to be nice. And, you know, let's do this. Yeah, I think one caveat there is that you probably are, there's somebody listening to this specifically, I'm going to use this generalization for any young ladies out here, uh, who have that relatability of like, I didn't, I have that same story. Like, I didn't grow up thinking that there was going to be a quote unquote prince and we were going to have this big old sweeping wedding in the gowns. I wasn't thinking about my bridal party at 11. Like, and for some people that, that was you and that's cool. But for some great. people, specifically ladies in this generalization in our society, that's not your story yeah. and that's perfectly okay. And if that was for you for a fella as well, that's not for everybody as well. Right. So that is right. important to know that you're not missing out because your, your upbringing or just your perspective, yeah. you know, was different. Yeah, no, I agree. It's true. So everybody <laughs> approaches, excuse me, their weddings differently, right? And like how their ideals of them. And that is definitely going to determine how you proceed with the steps. <laughs> and so give you a baseline what about you uh like did you did i definitely you... knew i wanted to i didn't I, the wedding was not a thing but i knew i wanted to be married i knew i wanted to be a husband a dad like i just i appreciated the the mentors and the people i looked up to who had that and i wanted that yeah right but the wedding and we'll talk about it in a second like the wedding itself was a thing i knew but the marriage and being married with somebody will ride or die. That was something that I looked at. I was like, yo, I want, I don't really know how to go about it, but I want that, yeah. right? And yeah. so, so that was, I knew I wanted that even, you know, as a, I got older in my, my teens and in my early 20s, as we were starting mm, to do You was like, a teenager saying, oh yeah, be married. because you know, I had, I, there were, there were different, you know, people in my family and in my church and, and just around us. So I like, I love that. That That's love sweet. that you got, I was like, That's I see sweet. that. I want that. When he walked by and y'all be just out here, little, mm, little pinch on the cheek, little kiss, and y'all just holding hands at the little supermarket, I want that. 
Yeah, you know I mean? don't be jealous, ladies. I got a good one. I know it's true. I just, I just was. I'm trying to figure out why men don't want to get me. I but, just you know, knew I wasn't gonna be the dude 27 with my shirt open at the club, oh, talking about yo, what's what's popping like that. Oh, I just knew that one in my bones. You might have called out somebody. I could have, and, and that was on purpose. I'm talking to you. If that's you, I'm talking to you. Again, uh, I don't. I never want us to feel like any judgment or anything. No, you be who you are. We just Please. be who we are, right? Yes. So, yes. and that is true. And I, I think that's really that. That's great. That's why you were able to say, "I want to propose. Right. I don't mind being married. I right. want to settle down. I want to start a family." Mm -hmm. And here we are today. So, because of those two perspectives, mm -hmm. then we had to have a wedding. So, yes. Now. So Go you know, ahead. No, no, I was just going to say, so our wedding, I think I forgot our but Do you remember our number roughly for our wedding? No. It I, was less than. No. I know what it was less than. Oh, yeah. It was definitely less than 5000 It was less than 5000 but I, I think don't it know was where less we than, started. I think it was less than 3000 I think our wedding did. Again, keep in mind about no, no. our content. This is really big, though. Please. It's not just our wedding for us. Oh, right? please. That, we should have <laughs> even did a drum roll for that because that's crazy. No, seriously, y'all. So we didn't have a lot of money. And the yes. way it works, like... We were so determined that we were getting married. We approached it to our parents and we're like, hey, we're going to get married. We understand that maybe you have money, you don't. It's okay. We'll figure it out. We do ask if you, as a family, each family could give $1,000, then like we'll put in $1,000. And literally our budget was $3,000. Mm -hmm. Now, somewhere in between that, I think we did like... Figure out yeah, finagle. we did kind of have like a, an extra thousand somewhere that that developed. But y'all, this is I'm telling you something from 13 years ago. I really don't remember. Um, but that was it, mm -hmm. and so we had to work within that, and it was so beautiful. Actually, I got the next post. You that guys is. are gonna want to see that. Okay, and we're gonna post the wedding pictures. Okay. Come on. beautiful. Mm. And it was all thanks first due to community. We had good people around us, people who loved us, people who supported us, people who helped make like a vision come true. I mean, we had live goldfish in vases. We did. We you did. forgot that, didn't I you? I 100% forgot that. We did. We had live goldfish? Live goldfish in, in vases. vases. On a, on a $3,500 uh, $3, budget. Yeah. And that was thanks to our wonderful Freshwater sweet fish. wedding planners. <laughs> God, just no. But I hope that they're doing way more <laughs> now because that was such a beautiful, yeah. beautiful thing. But, so all that to say, we had to work within what we, our means. Mm -hmm. And so I understand that people are not in college and are mm -hmm. in at least an agent. Mm -hmm. And they might be lawyers and blah, 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 and have these higher profile and yeah. higher paying jobs. But you want to put some things in per to perspective when you're getting, uh, red, uh, when you're planning your wedding. Okay. Let's hit with a first. I think it's good to start with a a couple of stats right now. Sure, 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 sure. So the average wedding, there will be over 650,000 weddings in 2021. Mm. Mm. So a lot, of people are, a lot of people are making this decision. A lot of people. The average wedding costs about 21.6. So $21,600. Mm -hmm. Average. For 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 one day. And I think that's where we want to pause right there for a second and give the big the big the big statement. The big statement as we get into this episode uh is that the wedding is one day. And that's important to remember, right? Before you get into before we keep on with this episode, before you get too much uh, big picture. We talk a lot about big picture. The wedding is one day. The wedding is a small piece of a big puzzle. Very big puzzle. Very big puzzle. Right? Long puzzle. Long, long term It's almost term like you shouldn't even reward yourself with spending that much money yet because you ain't done nothing. I saw somebody side note. Like I, wait I, 10 years and do it, baby. I, that's what I heard. I heard somebody say that and I had never thought about that. That was like, you know what? You jumping the gun. Spending I, that much money. I get so, we day. get so excited about weddings and we don't know if y'all even going to make it through the year. No, somebody, I forgot no, that was a comic. It was it's 100% real. This is why I'm so adamant about it, right? right? Like, if I got a divorce within two years and I spent $21,000, I'd be extremely pissed. <laughs> what just happened? Ooh. Right? Ooh. I think we need to reward ourselves a little bit better. It better not be no, it better not be no uh, d destination wedding where yeah. I had to get a new suit and travel to Jamaica and be on the beach and spend three grand for the hotel. And then all of a sudden, 
I'm looking up and 600 days in, y'all like, you know what? It just didn't work out. Dang, that's deep. Fam, I'm going to need that 50 I just think you should reward suit. yourself. Like, 21 dollars is a lot of money. If you got that, but no one should be going in debt for a wedding. Say no that. one should. You should be only pretty much probably spending what you can't afford to spend. Now, we asked our parents for a little bit of money, whatever we thought they could give. And then, um, you know, some some people's parents have like been saving for this for yeah, them. Yeah, like yeah. that's different. If you have the funds and you can utilize that's them, that's one thing. But also, if you don't have, if you don't own a house, if you're not debt free, you might want to even scale back and say, "Hey, can we use that money to prepare us to do better as we start?" Like that's a real thing. Like maybe I'm just not a big party planner, and so I'm approaching this from that perspective, but. Remember, we were 20 and 21. We had our wedding page on WordPress. Come on now. <laughs> I think I'm going to post that too. Yeah, post that. I think it's still active. <laughs> uh, and I, we, oh gosh, y'all, listen, 13 years ago. But um, it said, uh, this was the tag. This was the tagline. It said, let's Give do it, it to together. Give it to him. His day, uh -huh. your party, at, at our, our expense. expense. <laughs> That might be the realest thing we've written as a couple. You understand? <laughs> Y'all, that's what we said Ooh. on the page. I don't know why anybody can't it's good, ain't it? It's why? good, ain't it? <laughs> they were like, wait, what? Hit us in the comments if you know but that's good. I We had never planned anything this lavish in our entire lives. Mm -mm. So it just felt like we had to gather all this money and consider all these people. All these people. Because we were so glad that the Lord brought us together uh, so that we could like be like so excited before him. But it was it was all for them <laughs> and we put all the money. And then we were in college, so we had a lot of college kids, which means we're like, I get yeah, we had some good gifts, but yeah, like yeah. it wasn't like we rolled out of there with three thousand dollars more worth than gifts. So it was just like it felt it felt overwhelming sure. and it felt like, what is this we are doing? Like, this is such a big deal. And I didn't really have a wedding planner. I had a really good friend mm -hmm. who had got married before us and she helped. A year before us, I think. Literally a year. <laughs> but she loves event planning. She does. It's what she does now. She's great. So that makes sense. Yes. But it was like that. So it just. It just felt like, man, this is a lot of money trying to consider, like, how much for each person to have Each person? Food? Why don't we just bring out Lunchables? How about that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I heard about a charcuterie board. How? I didn't know about nothing about no charcuterie board. But then, shoot, I just would have made some sandwiches and, like, rolled them up. I got some things. I would have pig in the blankets. I To impress who? I could probably tell you, like, 20 people were at my wedding. So, Ooh, anyway, good. I'm just saying, like, Maybe it's the hindsight's twenty twenty, but even in that moment, I felt like because we were we had such limited yeah, yeah. funds, yes, it, 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 we had no choice. Yeah, and I think this is I think this is a good episode. We we would love to hear your wedding story. This is a good episode to because a lot of you are listening Tell to this. You already been married, right? And some of you may be listening to this and you're in the process of it, or you want to get married one day. So we're all different spaces, but specifically. If you are married, let us know your story because first off, I forgot about the goldfish. I'm gonna tell you that. I don't. I and, hope we got a picture of them. They gotta be somewhere. And and you know it is funny um, that. What happened to those goldfish? I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I, but we did not take. When we pictures. talked about that expense, though, because we really in a in a for us. We didn't get a chance to full experience because you're doing so much. Once you say I do and you walk down, you take your pictures, you kiss and you say hello everybody. I took like two bites of our food. Like I don't even remember what was on the menu. It was I remember chicken it was constantly, and some vegetables. It like, was, it was constantly everything. us moving and saying hello and giving hugs. I know. You know, which so, is why it really is a party for everyone yes, who's attending that, you. So it's not rude, no. but it, it wasn't the best thing for us to write that. It was honest. I I she, he still stands by. I 100 stand by that statement. That should be the title of this episode. This should be. Uh, his, his day, day. <laughs> our party at your expense. We're gonna break down some more, but we we're gonna uh, take a quick break for our sponsors. What's going on, good people? Before we get back to our episode, we want to shout out one of our sponsors, Unbox Boredom. That's right. Unbox Boredom is a fun subscription board game service that delivers board games directly to your door for you to keep. Yeah, and it's for all type of gamers, right? So, and bringing us back to the classic. Unplugging from the screens and good old board games, right? And from 
many different options from strategy to family and even party games. And unlike many subscriptions, Unbox Boredom allows you to change your, your subscription. You can go from monthly to bi-monthly and even quarterly. And for every 10 subscriptions, Unbox Boredom will donate one to a family who can't afford one. Absolutely. And we got a special promo code right now that can give you free shipping on your first box and it's called Sum It Up. That's right. Sum It Up will get you free shipping on your first box. So check them out. Online, you can check them out at unboxboredom.com or also you can check them out on Instagram, Unbox Boredom. Virtual wine tastings, sign us up. And we did with Couch and Cork and it was such a good time. We got the wine, they did the rest, we had our friends and we're still talking about this time many days later. Absolutely, it's a highly personalized, fun, full service, inclusive experience. It's not just for the ladies, fellas. I'm talking about it's for everybody, your friends, your family, your colleagues, whoever. On top of that, we got a special promo code right now, Sumnus15, not just for 10, but for 15% off. That's right, Sumnus15, 15% off. Check them out on the gram, Couch and Cork, or couchandcork.com for an in-home wine tasting experience. You won't regret it. So because we didn't have much, we had to really think about the things that mattered. And that's my, like, that's just my thoughts, right? Like, you got to really think about, because it is one day. One day. And you're just kind of enjoying it. Yeah. Somebody may or may not remember, blah, blah, blah. You may or may not make it. Let's just be honest. Whatever. <laughs> you just need a couple of good staples. And for us... That was photography. Mm -hmm. So I we definitely splurged on a photographer at the time, which a splurge back then was like nine hundred dollars. Ooh, that was a somebody splurge wants for to, poor college kids. Somebody wants to take my portraits for nine hundred dollars right now. Forget my entire wedding, right? Anyway, so that was like nine. I remember that. I, I bought a dress at like a wholesale place, and it was beautiful and great. Like it just cut some costs. It was still beautiful, but I didn't need nobody's top of the line. That dress is hanging in my mom's closet in Texas. Mm -hmm. How much was that dress? Like $300. Mm. Yeah, and it was cute too. Mm. Well, Y'all, I cannot wait to purchase this because Yo, they still, I think they still look good. Okay. The best thing though truly was the venue. It was um, someone's home. and um, Beautiful backyard, big tree in the it backyard. It was wonderful. Um, and that was just through connections and friends mm -hmm. and I, just the just, just graciousness of their heart. So that was just beautiful. And we're like, let's just do it outside. It was in the middle of July. It was hot. But we made it all, all work. And it really had to do with people's love and graciousness to us. Yeah, so that's one of the biggest things that if, you, if you're thinking about it is the communication between you and your partner of figuring out what matters most about this one special day. Let's be clear. We, we are not telling you to... Uh, go oh, you know, the summers told me to just spend thirty five hundred on the wedding. You know what I'm saying? Even though we both bring it in, whatever. That's not what we're saying. We're giving context. Of what we put are. it into the means. Right, right. right. We're we're saying don't go into debt over this day. Don't go okay? into debt over one day. Don't overthink this one day. And if you can set yourself up for the future. They set yourself up for the so future. the communication between your partner is essential, right? And so really sit down and like, all right, what are the things that, you know, we want? What are things that we need to make this day special for us, right? What are, how do we want to make this a great experience for us? We want to look back on this at the video and the photos. We want to laugh and smile and show this to our friends and kids and family, whatever. And we all can reminisce about this great moment. So the, the communication is, is, is crucial. And I'm going to put in a caveat here. I said this on Twitter a few weeks ago. And uh, it was it was an intriguing with the response because again it's a general generalized thought in society specifically American society that men specifically either don't want any part and and typically have little potentially uh, part say. in the wedding planning and say in the wedding day. Now every man specifically in his general statement is different. So that's off top. I personally was because I wanted to be and I and that's just who I'm I'm, I'm wired more involved in the wedding planning. That may not be you. You that may be like they planner though, so it makes sense. Right. And that may and be I, you. And I was not. And that may not be you. Either way. But the communication and being on the same page is, is nice. just important. Right. At the end of the day, if you're like, hey, babe, these are the two things. I got to make sure that my mama, my big T, my grandma, mm -hmm. and boom, boom, come at the wedding. And I want to wear these colors. Otherwise, I'm trusting you. That may be as far as you want to go. Right. Or you may say, hey, babe, I, I would like to be more involved. Let's talk about blah, blah, blah. But the communication yeah. is 
is without a doubt very yeah. important. It's about the communication because I didn't feel like you were like, well, no, I don't like those colors. But you know, like you have to. I feel like wedding planning mm. is like this is a real big Ooh, say that like test test yeah, yeah of where you're headed right because there's so many facets mm. there's planning there's yes or no decision making there's money 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 there's stress family there's family Ooh. oh man so it's like it's hitting you at all and so if you can make it through that then there's the high chance that you can high continue chance. to make it. Come on, high right? chance. But you also got to just keep making it through <laughs> each year. <laughs> that is not funny, but it is to me. It's real. And it's just because it's I, just to put so much weight on one day. Like, you, like, save some of that for please, real. Please and, like, go on a second honeymoon. Like, please. whatever. Mm, just do, nice. do more selfishly. And, do a little bit more for yourself yes. than this one big party for everybody else. You know what? And if you got it, trick it ain't it ain't tricking if you got it. You know, they told we talked about average was what, twenty two thousand, yeah. right? Essentially. Yeah, but it, it that's an average y'all. That was an know, average. In order for it to be an average, I mean somebody's up in the fifties and somebody's down here in the tens. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you brought up a great thing. If you're like, yo, I do want to have a banging level up honeymoon, right? Then just keep all that in mind. I think we're I think one of our big things we're talking about here is Keeping the end in mind, keeping the big picture in mind for here, you, right? For you, whatever right? that is, for whatever you. that is. So keep that in mind. Maybe you absolutely do love large parties and you want to show. Maybe that. you do. That's fine. Just make sure you and your spouse are on the same page. Same page and about that, is, that, and that you're not going broke or in no. debt because of it, right? It's right? just a protection. We were on a, a five to seven day cruise because that's what we could afford and maintain. And you know shout what? out to one of your BFFs. Who helped make that first hotel night happen and things like that. Like yeah. we have to keep things in perspective at the big picture. Yeah. And that's something when you're talking about weddings, yeah. sometimes can get uh can get left behind and put to the side here. Yeah. Because you want to make this day so hot, you gotta have the best DJ. And it's like, listen, the average DJ right now, according to the night right now, is about twelve hundred. The average reception venue is about ten grand. Some of y'all looking at like that's it. Some of y'all looking like what? So, you know, you got to just constantly remember where you are, be comfortable in your financial situation, right. you know, and make the most of it. And maybe you do the church for like $1,000, but then you decorate the heck out of that church. Like, <laughs> like, change it up, you know, maybe you do it in the back. I don't know, you know, like there are some ways to get creative, you know, but again, I do probably approach this from a more frugal perspective, but you know, when you can, you can. If you can't, you can't, but maximize, right? And if you can, don't go in debt. Period. I just keep saying the same things over there. I want to make sure that it is clear that, you know, I'm here for you and your beautiful weddings. Um, and I think that beautiful wedding. Oh, this is old. 2021. Give it to no, 2020. Hey. People got married in 2020. Please, yes. please let me know. Because it was weird, mm. but it was great. And it was less expensive, right? I know. And I just feel like y'all got something real sweet in 2020. Mm. You probably are like, man, no, I wanted it this way. And maybe you'll have a grand reception this year or next year. Mm -hmm. That's another cool way to do it, right? You've had a, almost a whole year with your new spouse. If you just got married in 2020, and then now you get to celebrate this first year, 2021, with a reception. Mm. Like, that's sweet. You saved money, you built money, you did all kind of things. Like, I don't know. It's one of those secret hidden wins of 2020, I feel, is that, you know, people got to kind of, like, do something more intimate and then now can celebrate and yeah. really feel like they celebrate like we did. We, we, we made it a year. We you made celebrated. it. So yeah. I think we just got it a little reversed. Okay. I think, you know, another thing is, and we hit on a little bit already for how we did things here, but don't be afraid to use any and all of the support from your friends and family to yeah. make things happen. Yeah. Right. We like know, if, folks. if you got a good friend or your, your partner knows a great connection with a DJ and they'll be willing to work with your budget, budget, like use that favor, like call in the favors to help make this day special. Don't let the pride, don't let the ego get in the way of making things uh, still be amazing uh, at this time, right? Because it's like, yeah, sure, we, again, we're poor college students here, but you probably got a bigger network. You probably have more friends now, and you just have a larger connection, base and connections right, right. here. That's so good. utilize that. Yeah. Utilize those connections. Right. Here. Don't be a... I, oh, man. Oh, here's another one uh -huh. for the wedding and the mm. wedding planning. Give it to Who do you invite? <sighs> the guest list. We were young, so half of those people don't even talk to you anymore. No. Okay? 
not even just like my wedding party or whatever. I'm just saying like in totality when you're trying yes. to think through. There are people who are present in your life right now that you want to invite and that's great. Yes. There's people who have been in your life for a long time and you want to invite them and that's great. Yes. Right? And that's okay. Like, so put a balance to that, you know? And real reality is when you look up 10 years later, maybe you'll remember those people or not. But those were people that were important to you then. But really making sure that those those ride or dies, you know, are invited. Those family, not your second, third cousin. You find out who matter a lot. Listen to me here. You find out who really ride or die when you put a price of plates on their head. Mm. Oh wait, yeah. wait, it's twenty. It's twenty five dollars per person per plate. Twenty five for a Ooh. person. Okay, carry the two. Well, Uncle Add Joe the, can't come. Nah, you know, like unk. I ain't gonna see Unc this time. It's kind of tough. It's it. right that wedding list, but don't stress yourself and don't try to go over large on some very large wedding. You know, trying to accommodate for everyone for your one day. Your one day. It is still your day. It really is, and you can put the restrictions on. I was talking to some friends the other day, and they were like, "Yeah, we thought it was so offensive that someone said no kids allowed at this wedding." And I was like. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's offensive at all. Not at all. I don't want to hear your baby crying mm -hmm. in my wedding. I don't want your kids running around in my wedding. I don't have childcare for you it's in my wedding. It's your day. It is my day, and I don't want your kids. And if you can't make it because you can't find a sitter for my one day, then you can't make it. I'm sorry. And I'll see you when we get back. That's it. Set your rules. Your rules are your rules. Your boundaries are your boundaries, and it's okay. And if people don't like it, guess when they can talk to you? Tomorrow. How about that? <laughs> I'm not having anything vegan on my menu. That's extra. I'm sorry. Bring your snacks in your purse. Or what's no? Don't look at me like that. If I can't bring my kids, I don't have to put you on the menu, vegans. Now, I'm just saying that's an option to consider. That's kind of rude, though. Uh, so is leaving my two year old at the house. Not really. So they both would do it for your date night. So you can do it for my wedding. My wedding no. is your date night. No, you better eat. My this. wedding is your date night because I'm about to turn up on the music. Listen here. If you don't bring your own gluten-free bread, Stop then you it. may... No, you try to leave my seven-year-old, you're going to bring your own bread. I'm okay with I the stand by it. I'm saying... I stand by you it. You sound so inconsiderate. No. But what I, mean, what I am it's saying is it will drive you crazy trying to consider Accommodate. everything. Absolutely. It is true. We so agree on that. You got to like... You know, this one says such a test for your marriage on like how y'all choose to discuss <laughs> and talk and process through it because it's a lot of facets... In Ooh. wedding planning. Victoria's going to have no kids. I don't have no vegans. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't. If somebody was like, your kids could come, Victoria, to my wedding, I'd be like, man, that's okay. I don't want to bring my kids. Like, I don't. Not at all. What are they going to be doing? Drawing pictures? No. Like, not until they're like eight and up. Like, maybe nine and up. Ten and up. Why? Because Miss Vicious already like 16. No. He doesn't even want to come Why? to my wedding. <laughs> Why? I think they should see it, though, right? But... I think there's something beauty in that, but not sure. when they don't remember. So, like, 10 and up. You know, it's like Disney. If you miss it past 10, it's too late. If they have a relationship with them. Like, Mission knows it certain true. people who are getting married. That now. is true. I, if you're five, get out of my... Get out of here. Yeah, there's some rules. You're asking for goldfish. Listen, we're giving way too many of our things. I told y'all this is so bad, but I'm just saying. Do you... Uh, don't go in there. Yes. Put your batteries up. And take deep breaths and make sure you have good support around you. It's crucial. It's crucial. It's stressful. It is. Crucial. I ain't never planned nothing bigger than that in my life. I don't really oh, like want an to. Event? No. <laughs> not, 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 not an event. I also am eh, 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 not an event planner. I just, I think it just causes too much. We want you to person. have the most fun leading up to it. We want that day to be special. And we also want you to not feel burdened post wedding. Okay. I think this whole episode here is if we could try to put a little bow on it. Those we want all those facets because pre plan, like we said, is tough. It's a lot. You trying on stuff, you trying cake and your 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 mother in law, your wedding planner is asking you to help out with this. It's a lot. Then you get to the day, you find quick whoo, and then post, you don't want to look up at the credit card debt and be like, dang, like we just want everything right for you to 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 be as smoothly as possible right so if our hindsight and our soapbox is helpful to one person then it was all worth it we won that's it, was it. All. <laughs> yeah that's true it's true that's like, it yeah you know i don't know just think about that money that money really throws me out. or really setting up those non-negotiables like we had a nice cake and it was really good i don't even know we made that cake no more but it was nice it was amaretto it was really and good. i think you brought a non-negotiable which made me think of another word which was norms and i think you know, don't, we cut out certain traditional, I'm using air quotes, mm -hmm. traditional uh, things that, you know, yeah. weddings sometimes have. Like we didn't throw like rice 
or anything like that. I didn't go under her dress and, and get her garter in front of my dad. Like, I didn't, we didn't do that. Uh, I can't think, it was probably another thing or two we didn't do. Yeah, and then some things that. Right, right, right. And so, so be free. Right? It's yours. It be free to to do and maneuver however you want to maneuver, right? Yeah, so. celebrate your love because the love is really what you celebrate, mm -hmm. and so you you get the people who want to celebrate that with you. And if they ain't been walking with you in your marriage, then they ain't gotta come to your wedding. They ain't gotta come to your wedding. I'm just saying. That's all we saying. Whatever. That's all we saying. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry if it sounds real bad. We sound like we do not really love a lot of people, but that's not true. That ain't I true. Just, I just think it's just, it's you just watch people get so stressed over it mm -hmm. and 13 years removed from it. And I wasn't even that stressed about it. Like, we really did come in. Like, I went to a water park the, the morning of my wedding. We were low-key stressed. That was great. That's a that's a bonus tip. I, I was uh, a little stressed because I didn't do nothing to try to make sure I fit in that dress, and then I had to do all the other <laughs> stuff to try to get in that dress, and that was uncomfortable. That was a different type of stress. That dress should almost fall off of me today. It Come won't, on. but Come. it should. <laughs> <laughs> we look better now. That's what we do now. When we drop these pics, you're like, you know what? Y'all leveled up, and that's all we want to hear. That's all we want to hear from you. <laughs> <laughs> drop off the bone, you hear me? Well, listen, man, a couple things. We're going to get out of here. Um, one, we would love, love to hear your stories. Please. Uh, please. And, I, and somebody said this the other day, so I want to say it again because everybody's not on social media. So if you got a story, shoot it to us at summitupsummers at gmail.com. Summitupsummers at gmail.com. If you're not really on social media, we still want to hear your story. We ain't going to leave you out. Yeah. Uh, but we'll be posting some pictures. Maybe what's, your, time. what's your favorite yeah. memory? We might go live this week and talk because I've been to some bad... <clears throat> I've been to some intriguing weddings, and, and I do I'm a, I do want to share that. We've all been to some intriguing weddings. We ain't got to share names, but you know what I'm talking about. I, I, whoo -hoo, I, with some, whoo -hoo, I've been to a few. Uh, but listen, we, I hope you found value in it again. Uh, as always, please check us out. Patreon, exclusive content over there, the bonus episodes. We're going to be dropping a few more this month. Look out for that. Uh, also, Check out uh, our great sponsors. A lot of great things are cooking with them. A lot of fun stuff is going on. Subscribe on YouTube. And please, if you got a minute in your week, uh, drop a review down on Apple Podcasts. For Damon Katoya, Summer of the Summers, we'll see y'all next time.